find the value of x and y for which x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 3y is equal to 3 and uh, uh, 2x squared minus y squared plus 4x plus 18y is equal to 54. Now we are going to do this algebraically and then I already worked this out and then I will show you the graphical uh, representation of these two equations. Okay, so looking means doing it algebraically. Uh, I'm looking whether I could write this as uh, something common. So what do I mean? So if I look at this x squared plus 2x, okay, and I see a 2x squared plus 4x. So I'm thinking, is there a relationship between this and this? Can I write this x squared plus 4x as x squared plus 2x? This is the main step. If you can see that 2x squared plus 4x can be written as x squared plus 2x. That's the most crucial step, so that's what I've done. So this is the first equation, okay, and this uh, making, I've, I'm taking x squared, making x squared plus 2x as the subject, so this implies x squared plus 2x is 3, my, 3 plus 3y minus y squared, that's equation 1, and again I'm making this the subject here, so 2x squared plus 4x is 54 minus 18y plus y squared. So in the next step what I've done is I've divided all by 2. So this becomes 2x x squared plus 2x, half of 54 is 27, half of 80, negative 18y is minus 9y plus half uh, y squared. Now both equation 1 and 2 is in terms of x squared plus 2x. So the left hand side of 1 is x squared plus 2x and the left hand side of 2 is also x squared plus 2x. So if the left hand side of two equations are equal, we can equate the right hand side of the equation. So I'm, I'm going to say, well, if the left hand sides are equal, I can equate this with this expression because the left hand side of 1 is equal to left hand side of 2. Okay, so that's what I've done in the next step from 1 and 2. I can write uh, 3 plus 3y minus y squared is equal to 27 minus 9y plus half y squared. Now the rest is simple algebraic expression uh, manipulation. I've made this, I've brought this whole or left hand side or right hand side to the left hand side. So this is, I've arranged it uh, along with bringing this to the left hand side. So this is minus half y squared and in other words, you're bringing this to this left hand side or you're add, taking away half y squared from both sides. So minus half y squared, hopefully this step is clear. Uh, uh, so this is 3y plus 9y plus, uh, plus 3 minus 27. So simplifying that, you got uh, mine. So this is minus 1. Okay, or this is minus 2 over 2. This is minus 2 over 2. So this is minus y squared. Can be written as minus 2 over 2y squared. Minus half y squared is minus 3 over 2y squared. Now I want to get rid of this. Minus 3 over 2. So what I've done is, I'm, I'm going to multiply. Multiplying each term by the reciprocal of this which is my negative two thirds. I don't like this fraction. So what I've done is multiplying each with minus two thirds. So my, this with two thirds and this the whole thing with two thirds. So negative and negative becomes positive. So this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So this three goes in twelve four times and three goes in eighteen twenty four eight times. Okay, so the next step and this becomes 0. So what happens now? So this is nothing but y squared uh, minus 8y plus 16. Now this is a perfect square of y minus 4 the whole square, which implies y is equal to 4. Okay. Now what I've done is I put this back in equation 1. So I have copied and pasted equation 1 from here. This is our equation 1, x squared plus 2x, 
is equal to 3 plus 3y minus y squared. And that's the interesting thing about smart board. You can copy and uh, paste. So this is the first equation. So you're substituting this y is equal to 4 in this equation. So what happens? Simply substituting, you get x squared plus 2x uh, is negative 1. And this again a perfect square. So x is equal to 1. So the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 4. Now this is a program that I'll show you. Now this is a program called Graphmatica which is a free downloadable program. So I have typed in this. This is the equation of a circle. The first equation is x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 3y is equal to 3. So this is the equation of the circle. Okay. And if I click on this, this is the equation. Oops. So this is the equation of the ellipse. Oh, so this is the equation of a hyperbola. So 2x squared minus y squared. If you're learning conic section, uh, you will understand. So this is an equation of a hyperbola, and this is the equation of a circle. And the point of intersection is this, negative 1, 4. This point is the point of intersection. So if you can, if you look at this point, I'll show it's difficult. It will cannot. So this is almost. This is one. Uh, I can't exactly. This is one point negative one four, and that's what was our answer. That when x is, I'm oh, sorry, x is negative one. So it's always good to. So I made a mistake here. So x is negative one, not one. X is negative one, and y is four, and that's what get. This is this is a circle, and this is a hyperbola. They intersected only one point, which is negative one, 